Utilizing biomarkers to diagnose Parkinson's disease, are we ready to implement a biological definition in research or not? Here to weigh in and debate both sides are Dr. Kathleen Poston and Dr. Paolo Calabrese. Thank you both for joining me so much. Thank you Thank for the you. invitation. Thank really you. excited that you're here. Very kind invitation. So I'm going to start with you, Dr. Poston. You say the time is now. It's important to adopt the clinical definition. What are some of the biomarkers that you think you would use utilize for uh, the research? I think it's important to understand that this is a rapidly moving area. Right now, the seed amplification assay that comes from the, from the cerebral spinal fluid is our most validated measure. Over a thousand individuals who have had CSF and then confirmed autopsy have been done on this assay. But six months from now, it might be a different one. So I encourage people to really keep up with the literature and see how they evolve because we are gonna have more biomarkers in the future, but they need validated. Okay, and Dr. Calabrese, you're more skeptical on this. Could you explain why? I believe that biomarker is important in the neurobiological definition of Parkinson's disease. The matter is, are we ready now? And is a single biomarker enough to make an early diagnosis of Parkinson's disease? So I believe that maybe is not yet the moment and we have to combine more than one biomarker to produce a coherent view of the disease in the early stage. So I understand that you're saying you might more might be needed. Um, some would argue that it's also a way for early detection and even more accurate detection of the disease. Would you agree with that or not yet? Yes, early detection is mandatory because we know that uh, as soon as you start a disease modifying treatment, uh, it's better because if you do disease modifying treatment in the even early motor stage may not be enough. You have to go before. But the matter is, uh, what are we going to choose as a valid biomarker? Right. And, and I guess there's various biomarkers to choose from. And, and again, the other argument is more research is needed for the interplay of the disease mechanism and, and what biomarkers. Is that the main issue? That is a very important issue and one that I think both of us very much agree on, that more research does need to be done to understand not just biomarkers that can identify who has the disease, but actually biomarkers that are associated with the mechanisms of disease. That's not necessarily the same thing or the same biomarker. My part of the argument is that we can do these in parallel. We can start using the current biomarker as a biologic definition, but as that new research comes in, we can build on that framework and add that new information in that's more mechanistic and actually even multiple biomarkers that might address different stages of the disease. So it sounds like, and this is a question for both of you, it's not really if, it's just a matter of when that this will be used to diagnose, is that right? Yes, but I do believe that to keep the Parkinson disease entity, nosological entity, is important because we are not yet ready to have a wide uh, utilization of this neuronal synuclein classification because in many hospitals this technology is not available and also the technology has some conceptual and experimental problem. So I think that this is work in progress and in the meantime we should stay with the clinical definition of Parkinson's disease to do not have problems in handling PD patients, uh, not only in uh, very high level centers, but uh, throughout the uh, country and throughout the uh, whole uh, medical community. Do you also think it's kind of like, how is it going to operations wise? And, and what do you think as far as if or when? I think that when is, is partly now in certain circumstances. I think there are certain research studies that are actually now even implementing the biologic definition, like the path to prevention study that is being spearheaded by the Michael J. Fox Foundation that's looking at individuals prior to being formally diagnosed with Parkinson's disease who are biomarker positive. But outside of those very specific research settings, I think more information is needed. So when is now? 
for certain situations, um, but for the broader implementation, I agree that we need more, more um, opportunities to have these biomarkers available to a broad population. But it's research that leads to hope. It research is hope, yes, yeah, that's absolutely yeah, yeah. true. Wonderful, thank you both for joining me. This is a wonderful topic, thank you. Thank it you has so been much. a pleasure for me, thank you. Thanks.